there's one more passage that Bishop Schneider shared on this, and it is from the Canon for Receiving Holy Communion. What's interesting is Bishop Athanasius Schneider was here on the Dr. Taylor Marshall podcast last week, and I asked him, what is something we lay people can do to be better prepared on Saturday, devotions on Saturday for our family to receive communion on Sunday? And one of the things he recommended was the Eastern Canon for Receiving Holy Communion. And in that canon for Holy Communion, an ode one, it says, Blessed earth, blessed bride of God, earth untilled and saving the world, end quote. So here Mary is directly addressed as blessed earth. Earth untilled. What does earth untilled mean? We now have to till the earth, break up the earth so you can put seeds in it and grow. Well, Mary is a virgin, ever virgin, before, during, and after birth. She is a virgin with full integrity. She doesn't need to be broken up. She's already receptive to the incarnation of Jesus Christ. When the angel of the Lord announces to Mary, she says, fiat, let it be done unto me according to thy word. You don't have to go, me, I'm a sinner. I'm stubborn. The Holy Ghost has to come and break up the hard, impacted earth of my heart so that I can receive what God wants to do in my life because I'm a sinner. The Blessed Virgin Mary didn't need it to be broken up. She was already receptive to not, not only salvation, she was immaculately conceived. She says, God, my Savior. She was saved. She was regenerated. She was justified in the very first moment of her existence, of her conception. So we don't need, no one needs to come and till up her heart and break it up. It's already perfect. It's already receptive. No language here of Tierra del Cielo, but we do have the idea of earth being here. She is the pure, untilled, virginal earth from which we gain our Savior and Redeemer, Jesus Christ. And this is orthodox language. But we must be very careful. Lex orandi, lex credendi. The law of prayer is the law of faith. We should be very careful in the language we use. This is another reason yesterday why I went into why we should be using Latin for the consecration. So that we can actually use the canonized phrases and titles for the Blessed Virgin Mary and not things that are slippery that look and sound like this. Tier de Cielo, which is actually about a new age understanding of the cosmos and the interconnection of animals, humans, cultures, etc., which is not based on Jesus Christ as the new Adam and Mary as the new Eve. It's based upon a pagan ideal of the universe of everything is connected, where the universe is God and God is the universe. That's not Christianity. So I am thankful to Bishop Schneider for reminding us, for teaching us about this mystery of Our Lady. I still have concerns about why this language is being used, especially the thing that kind of got everybody jumpy about it is the English reads Queen of Heaven, and the Spanish and the Portuguese and the Italian and the French and the Russian and the Ukrainian and the Arabic and on and on and on all say Earth of Heaven. Why does the English say Queen of Heaven? It's confusing. And as I said yesterday, God is not the author of confusion. That's in 1 Corinthians. The person who makes everything complicated and confusing and smoky and ambiguous is Satan. 